Welcome to the season premiere of Yoel's Hangouts podcast with my very special <laughs> guest, Naod. What do you, you want to go by, Naod or Bobby? My name is Naod Burhan Ryan Hallam. And Yo, why you mumble that so hard? <laughs> I got close. That was my essay. Uh, Say it again. I don't know Naod. Yet. What's your last name? I know him. Hey, <laughs> so is mine because hey. we're cousins. And Chaz. And uh, what did you say? Do you want to full name it? Hit him with the full yeah, name. Yeah, sure. I'll hit him with the full name. It's not quite so Charles. fancy. Charles Frederick Laughlin the fourth. I know him. You try to sound like British royalty. Yeah, I am. I like it. Actually, I am British royalty. Scottish royalty. In the mountains of Caucasus. Pick one. You gonna you rule over all of Europe? Or well, it's what? part of the UK now. So I mean, it was Britain at one point. We brought our wine. Exit. We did. We, we are. Relaxing. We were gonna go out, but that didn't happen, mm-hmm. and we were just like, "Let's record the season finale." Or no, I keep saying premiere. that season premiere, premiere of Yoel's Hangouts podcast. Um, yeah. Ooh, ooh. Just want to say, shouts out to me being the first returning guest. He is. Mm-hmm. He is very prestigious mm-hmm. award given to Charles Frederick Laughlin the. Fourth. Fourth. Fourth, okay. Better known as Chaz. Um, yeah, so we just wanted to, you know, keep it going. We t- I took a bit of a hi- hiatus personally, you know, yeah, focus on other things. Uh, it's just been a long time. It's been like, like four it's, been, it's been a while. Like, I haven't recorded one since, like, first starting a Dutch. So it's been a while. And that was, like, seven months ago. Oh, like a, yeah. snap, over half a year. That's pretty bad. Yeah. Mm. Dang, time flies. Well, when Dutch did you, time when is did you like... start the first one? Um, I forgot. That was a long time ago. Also... That's why I forgot this shit. I was like fucking spending like four hours trying to figure out how to record audio. I was like, why is it... Oh, it's been a long ass time since I recorded the <laughs> podcast. Okay. Yeah. It took a long ass time funny. to set this shit up. been doing, got us doing other pretty. projects. It looks good. I'm doing other projects like the sweatshirt, you know what I'm saying? The mm, clean. That's for the next I'm getting clothing. your shot, though. Oh, shit. I'm pretty sure it's in there, right? Wow, we're like yeah. making out. No, it's just for the shot. Can, you, can you guys hear that? And if I sniffle, I'm sorry. I'm I'm like, we like wiped this table down, got the cobwebs out off of it, literally, <laughs> because I haven't recorded in so long. Yo, Who are you talking to? Let's start with the audience. To the <laughs> audience. To the, to, the li- to the listeners. I don't know why I've got my sexy voice on today, but you're welcome, ladies. Yo, you're really, it's actually raspy <laughs> it's the for vibe. sure. Yeah. I don't know so what it's it is. The wine? It might be the wine. Yeah, it might be the sniffles. Um, you know, I feel classy. I t- actually lit oh, the the uh, yeah, that's the, the wrong candles. glass. Just so you know, <laughs> that's a mimosa glass. What do you mean? Glass. That's a champagne. I don't have another. Like I brunch. don't have another one. I wanted to give you guys the real glass, the real wine glasses, because I'm a good host. Appreciate you. I'm a good host in multiple ways. You did that. Yeah, I fucking drove your fuckers, you fuckers everywhere the past couple days. Yeah, because I'm a good host. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have yeah. no so, cars. Yeah, we had we had a few specific topics that we wanted to talk about i definitely wanted to address um the main one i want to talk about is the one i want to just tackle is what were your guys's what i'm really interested in what were your guys's favorite um albums of the year any any genre just personal complete mm-hmm. favorite of 2018? of 2018 i hate this question <laughs> you're like, you're like, oh, i'm so nervous <laughs> It's no. music, not torture. I don't no. want to choose the wrong one. Oh, good. So much pressure. Um, and you got to explain mm-hmm. it because I don't want like, oh, it's this one and you can't fucking back your shit up. Okay. Well, yeah. what if I just like a, like an album? No, you got, I got to, you got to break that shit down. Okay. Mm. Like, uh, like lyrics, rhythm, um, beat, production, album cover. How many SKUs are there? God damn. Um, Features. Uh, okay. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah, sure. No time to think. Like, no, no, bust okay. it out. Yeah, um, <laughs> Should I go first? Yeah, yeah. let's get the okay. yeah, in here. Um, my, um, my album of the year is Safe in the Hands of Love by Eve Two More. Which, oh, um, you did a hello artsy one. I did. I've I had to be different for real. Sounds really good. Let me we'll put do, y'all we'll on. Do, we'll Let me put we'll y'all on. an underground one and like a mainstream, like what most people might actually understand. Like, no yeah. album. But hey, check this out. I have um, an underground one that I really like too. So I. 
We got to. Um, but um, they're pretty much like a alternative, like punk rock kind of okay. artist. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. But they're also black, which is cool. Alternative um, punk in black. Yeah. Interesting. I like it. So. Um, wow, that's. Okay. I don't know what else to say. It's, yeah, it's kind of like, <laughs> like noisy, but also ambient. He's. I think they're mostly a producer, so there's some tracks where it's just like just beats just, yeah just ambient music but um oh, cool. oh ambient music but oh, it yeah. gets me in like my like white boy skater like tony hawk pro skater too i think what's his name peter really <laughs> likes like ambient like that type of ambient type of like, shit. like the stuff that makes you sleep no literally like back like kind of like not a lot of words like just vibes got it right that's what it is yeah right? like stuff but, you can play but there are there are full songs too which okay. I like a lot. Sorry for that noise. That sounds so gross on the podcast. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't so give that, a fuck. That's coming at you in a way. No you edits. know what? This people get real. sick. People get running your noses. This is part of life. This is my motivational speak. You just got to grind it out. I still recorded this fucking <laughs> podcast. Yeah. I like yeah. how you wait seven months until you probably haven't had a cold in seven months, and that's the that's the time we decide to do this. This is I don't have a cold. I just have a. I I'm a, I'm really just sensitive to dust. Like mm-hmm. just if dust kicks up ever since I was a little kid. Well, I'm, sneeze. I'm allergic to you, <laughs> you being a bitch. I know. But you love I the milfs, which is very confusing. What? what? Yo, okay, that was a thing. For a long time. <laughs> it's not I, a thing anymore. Did you know that? I, mm. Yeah, you will. Tell so, me. I don't know if you want me to tell this. <laughs> I don't know if you want me to tell this story. No, you said that we go where the podcast goes. Oh, no, no, that's <laughs> fine. That's fine. I mean, so pretty much like me and I'm not going to say the person's name. <laughs> We met up with. Oh wow, this is <laughs> this was foreshadowing actually to who he's with now. We met up. Oh, we met up, we met up with with um, some older women. I mean, he's older than me, so and then older than him, so it's like mm. in you know how that's getting older? in like how much the older are had these children women? age. What? How much older are they? Like are they like in their older thirties? Like uh, late thirties. Late thirties. Ooh, like, they've, had they've had a life. They've had a life. <laughs> like they've had a life. Two they've had. I don't know. They they were all divorced. Nice. Yeah, they've had children. Um, <laughs> Just taste them. And you know, you know, <laughs> we're we're talking, hanging out, all of us, and like you know, it was just like, um, it was just a really interesting night. And then we ended up dancing, like you know, kissing a little bit. I know I've kissed a girl before. Sorry, guys. I'm and, heartbroken. You know, <laughs> it's just like, and then I left, and I was like. You know, she was a mom. She was really much older than me. I think the fetish is gone. I think it was just something that, and I didn't like have wait, you know wait, wait, sexual wait. intercourse. Oh, so you it was did a not bang. Can we confirm? No, 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 no bang. Okay, you heard it. I could have lied. I could have said I did. He did but I didn't. Hit. I'm an honest guy. Um, I feel so better. yeah. I'm, you know, I feel so I, just, douchey I can <laughs> sleep. I can, I can sleep at night. I'm sorry, mom. What bang? Bang no. is a really douchey term. No, I said I said hit that. That's just that's bang hit that. That's going in douchebag territory, unless you're like, in like. It just it feels very. Oh God, and I'm mm. in Portland. That's worse. Yeah. I feel like I'm, yeah. Hit right. that. We stick with fornicate. Why? Why in Portland? Uh, what? what? No. Fornicate. That's, what? Is that a thing? <laughs> what fornicate? Uh, LA no. thing. I mean. Um. Oh, yeah. Like anyway. Yeah. The fetish is gone, Maybe and I'm glad it's gone. Fornicate. Oh yeah. Well, I'm also glad. I'm. I'm glad that we agreed. We should. Should we not say hit that? What do you mean? Like should is that is that an outdated term? I don't really. I don't really talk about any of that shit. Well, you know. I usually say we hooked up. If people dig deep, yeah, like, yeah, they're like, did you? You know, I'm like, yeah. It's like I don't did really. What? I don't think that. The podcast. <laughs> <they can. laughs> oh damn! Yes. I got really, really mucus. Yeah, it got a lot worse. Sorry, as I soon that. as we started recording, it got a lot worse. This is me. If you can't accept me for me. Then fuck you. It's, yeah, I'm you, just kidding. You, you fuck that up. What? If you can't accept me at my worst, you don't deserve me at my best. I wasn't gonna say all that, but no, I like. I'm glad where, you said that's that. Where he was I'm so right. glad you that's said that. That's for sure. Why he was yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad you said that though. That made me happy. Um. So yeah, what's your favorite album of the year? <sighs> See, I, I know, know you're sorry. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. So I know. So much pressure. Avoiding this. Um. Okay. I got. I got a little two parter to it. Um, one my favorite album was Question Mark. Uh, by XXX. X. I'm gonna just call him. How do you say? It? I actually don't know how to say it. Is um, that Shion? 
Is that yeah. how, is that how it is? Someone it, said like temptation one time because it's extension. Is that what it is? XXS temptation. That's what I thought it was. XXX temptation. No. Yeah, it's not that. What he, is it? Do then? we have them? Well, is there uh, is there see, footage of? This is, this is the most Tentacio. embarrassing part. He, Alexa, then, my favorite music. But the meme. Is Play like, music by XXX tension. No, I don't think it's says. tension, bro. Shuffling songs by XXX tentacion. Tentacion. Oh, oh Alexa, Ooh. turn off. Yeah, Alexa, turn. We, Alexa we hit him with the with the French pronunciation. I don't. Think that was clean, right. though. I don't think it's right. I'm not sure. Alexa, no. turn off. Dumb bitch. Oh, okay. bro! All she does yeah. is help. Let's know, save our streams. Black Lives Matter. She's black too. I have Are a you black sure? Alexa. I'm sure you could change her. Accent. I've never met a black Alexa. They've all been white. Are you serious? Yeah. Like you're, really? you're... Oh, I thought you meant the device. The Alexa the is actually Alexa. black. Yeah, yeah. Like, I was like, they're definitely <laughs> mostly. I was like, they're mostly black. She starts whipping out some like. <laughs> <and shit. laughs> um. So, uh, oh, okay. but yeah, the second part. Um. It's my favorite. I didn't album. know you were really into him that much. Oh, I love his music, dude. It's really? um, the only time I've ever listened to like a screamo song and actually vibed it a little bit. Mm. I like his, his stuff. Yeah, he. I love it just because he brought two things. Well, a couple things about it. One, I really love the way he spoke about depression. I think that's insanely important and something we don't really talk about. Especially, we don't talk about it in a way that I think speaks to those who have depression because that's something like I struggle with and other people in my life have struggled with and you could just tell that's something he went through and he could speak on and he kind of I would play his stuff when I felt really down but also even when I'm vibing good like I could still play his stuff I thought he was I thought he was brilliant and it's a real shame that it's he interesting died this year it's interesting do you think that people I found myself like if I am feeling down it can cheer me up to listen to someone else that is going through it because I'm like, okay, it's not, I'm not going crazy. Like yeah. mm. other people have experienced that, but also I like listening to uplifting stuff when I'm down to like, get me out of that mindset. Mm, for me, I don't, I liked hearing a lot of his stuff speaking about being depressed and things. Cause it helped me feel understood in a way that a lot of people, especially when I go through this really gnarly wave of depression, People who don't suffer from severe depression try to understand and they think like giving you pet talks will help and it just doesn't for me. Like a lot of times it just takes, and it, I don't want everyone to be sad with me, but just to know that you understand my sadness yeah. and that's what his music did for me. Mm -hmm. And it was, it's, it's good, man. I love it's this good. shit. Yeah. It's becoming like, I feel like it used to be like a huge talking point. It's like nobody's talking about depression, but now it's like. Everyone's, Everyone's talking about depression. Yeah, which is good. And so, it's good. yeah, it definitely is. It's almost like it's also like the corporations and people like really into charity. It's like some people are going to do it for the wrong reasons to like yeah. be for everyone to be like, oh, you're cool, you're you know giving to charity, but you're really doing it to you know benefit yourself. Yeah. But it's better to over to get too many people talking about or giving to charity, Always. no matter what the motive Always, is. Yeah. But even if, once again, it's the quality over quantity thing because I thought he did it better than just about anything for me. Hmm. Yeah. There are other people who do it, but yeah, I guess that the people who are like, you're okay, you'll be great. It's like, mm, what if I don't feel that way? No. Yeah, you, you think know? that just those I don't really feel help. anything most of the time, so I'm oh constantly God, listening to, to s Oh, look at that. Thank you. Only no, here so at I, the I Yoel's Hangouts podcast. It, it, it reminds me that, like, I have emotions. Yeah, see? That's good. I like that. Oh, is that like a coping mechanism? You, you know very much. So. You don't yeah, yeah. even like. I sad. only listen to sad music, low key. Mm -hmm. Really interesting. Yeah, Aww. I like that stuff. But I love it. I like that stuff. Like when you are down and you, it gets you to you know to be like, okay, I'm not literally going crazy in my brain. Other people have gone through this and overcome it, or are functioning and are successful, or what it may be. It's like I'm not just in my own head, like going crazy. Mm -hmm. It's like well, I am, but it's like everyone's yeah. kind of crazy, and you know. A certain extent, mm -hmm. but I'm oh, gonna just like different shades of blue. Aww. Oh wow! It's like the less free version. Like of, oh, you do of the listen book. to. Oh my god, he'd be knowing. I pen that. That's, I like that. That's my pen. <laughs> pen. Like pen he game. That's funny. Yeah. Like he's saying he wrote it. Oh, you pen that. Okay, sorry. I'm not really <laughs> with okay. the LA like lingo. That's not they both LA. they both that's live just, in LA like by the way. Obvious. So I'm like yeah. I'm like trying to catch up to their like. That's like that's like Shakespeare. What. I don't know, I feel like... What's Shakespeare? No, I'm just kidding. Oh, my God. <laughs> you gotta explain I'm every fucking thing. <laughs> About to mansplain it. That's funny. Uh, yo, and so... Your writers. 
Sorry, back to the other thing. My favorite song, though, uh, was Drew Barrymore by Bryce Fine. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought it was, like, by Drew, was Barry, like... Drew Barrymore. No, no, no. It's called Drew Barrymore. By who? Bryce Vine. You've told me about him. Yeah, I because to to it, I, w- I used to watch... I forget how I found the actual music video, but I heard the song. And my roommate, me and I, do this thing because her and I work together a lot on our creative projects, like our photo shoots. And we watch music videos because we want to direct music videos together. So we watch some of the good ones for inspiration. And we watch this video, and it is aesthetically one of the most beautiful music videos I've ever seen. Really? Yeah, just the colors, and then also he tells the story well. Because anyone can kind of do a music video. Like, we were talking about this. It's easier. Yeah. Because yeah. you can just get someone, like, dancing, you know? There's certain things. Just telling me, like, five just locations. Leave the camera on. It's you'll, easy. You'll it's one of those things up. where yeah. it's, like, it's easy to get a C. It's really True. easy to get yes. a C. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's easy, but mm-hmm. it's really hard to... You know, yeah, it's kind of like uh, you know, with snowboarding, it's, it's, say, it's a standard deviation, yeah, exactly. Easy to learn, hard to master, yeah. And I thought this was a masterpiece, it yeah. was just so good. I showed especially you now, video, people right? have such ADHD that it's really hard to master music, video. yeah, exactly. And so, he, they took the time, and it was just so cool, mm, yeah, and actually, out. so crazy. So, I've been on this music video for about like a month and a half, two months, and like two weeks ago. I was at a holiday party because in LA, you know, you can just run into anyone. Mm. And uh, it's the shots holiday party because you know how I work for shots. Um, that's the people like the influencer stuff. And I walk over and my roommate, Jalen, is talking to some random dude and he's wearing like a cool little denim jacket. And I was like, oh, okay, word. And then I walk around, I see the dude and it's fucking Bryce Vine. What? Yeah, bro. And I've been on this guy's music video yeah. nonstop yeah. for like that's six wild. weeks. Yeah, so I walked out to him, dude, and I was like, yo, dude. Were you nervous? Oh, no, I was just excited. Oh, really? Yeah, because, like, I've met a few celebrities down there, you know? Just, like, that's what LA's like. Yeah. But then I walked out to him, and I told him, like, bro, I fucking love that music video. What and then, oh, yeah, he was just... What was your reaction? No, he like was cool celebrity. with it. Like, he wasn't, like, I wasn't, like, fangirling, but, oh. uh... Yeah, we ended up hanging out the whole night until, like, 4 a.m., yeah, because after the party we went to an after party. Did he did he direct the music video or he creative directed it? Yeah, oh, he wasn't the director because I looked that up and I asked him. I was like, "Yo, did you creative direct that?" And he did, which is sick. That's gonna piss me off. I really want to watch it now. Oh, I I haven't showed you. No, I like so good. played. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna be the future, and there's gonna be a fucking. They have that already. Out of... No, they have the screens. No, I know. Like, yeah. like it Inside. follows you around and shit. Oh, it's, it's like the, the one where it follows you around and shit, like. One of the Alexa oh, videos, like, like, it literally can follow you in the kitchen and shit when you're on FaceTime. What? Oh, you're talking about Portal. Facebook know. Portal. No, no, no. no Google, oh, Google. no, no, no. So like, it's VR, Amazon, Google. Amazon, like, it's like an Amazon thing. They advertise it for fo- during football games sometimes. Yeah. And it literally <laughs> has a swivel. It has a swivel and it, like, can follow you in the room. Like, say you're FaceTiming, like, someone. And, like, yeah. It Facebook follows you as your bed. Yeah, I'm sure. It's yeah. cool. Jackson showed me. I know Jackson cool. technology. I know. Oh, dude, that's he's gonna be mad if he uses. <laughs> but <laughs> yo, you better watch the podcast, Jackson, or listen to it. Bitch. Nah, don't even listen to it. You gotta Simple. see it. You gotta see the look on his face. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, at the end of the night, he ended up. Well, actually, not even that far into it, bro. He. And followed, then you guys ended you know? up fucked. No, we didn't fuck. I'm just kidding. I, he <laughs> might. I think he might have hooked up with one of my friends though. Oh no. And I, like, but like, you're kind of happy. You're I don't really care. It was like cool either way. You know. Yeah. But yeah, so now he follows me. And I was like, yes. That's pretty beast. Yeah. I feel like follow is like yeah. a compliment. It is. Especially yeah. for higher in status in LA. Mm. It's like, in LA, everyone follows follow. everybody, though. That's nah, like, not really. They oh, like, not like all follow me. You're talking about like the. Oh, <laughs> we're so corny. Is that, savage? is that, oh my God, I'm getting douchier by the minute. It's, it's a douchey environment. It's, I'm just going to say Bryce Vine. I don't know who you are, but. Don't let this nigga hype you up. You, you're like, it's here. interesting. No, no, he's a cool dude. Like... No, no, he, actually, he's super chill. Regardless. Oh, okay. He's not like he's not like super famous. I just like his work. He's yeah, got yeah. like 83k. That's good to know. It's interesting how, like, this is the first time in human history that it hasn't been money, but followers that has been like a numerical representation of your status socially. True. Yeah, I guess it's very you interesting. Really quantify it before. Before it was money, but even then no but one could then, really like, see it. No one could see it. Famous. And no one could see it. Yeah. You know? 
But like now it's like, what what are your numbers at as far True. as you know? Like Isn't if you that got interesting? In the newspaper back in the day, you were big. My dad was in the newspaper. It's Where? a big deal in Israel for oh, like, that's dope. Plant research. See, yeah. like I feel like that's like that's clout. That's like now it's like no one like, watches the when you cut it out and you frame the frame. Oh, it. Bro, no, my dad did. Dying. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they are. No one's watching that shit. Why do you need it? Print journalism. Like Vanity Fair, we just watched a fucking Vanity Fair. Remember that it was a fucking was a magazine. It was a magazine, but we watched their U- their YouTube videos. Yeah, you yeah. bitch, help me out. <laughs> <laughs> crazy. Yeah, no, Vanity Fair is cool. It's got a lot of editorial stuff. But it's like but it's transitioning to YouTube, like it's complex, like all the yeah. They have to. Here's the thing: every Instagram page that you follow. Is a digital magazine. Yeah, that's true. That's what the truth like. That's what it is. Mm. Facts. Like every single page is a magazine, and Instagram itself is just like the newsstand, but gives away for free. It'll die, but not anytime soon. No. Did any of you guys get like the the uh, the like beta update kind of thing? Oh, did you see where you swipe across? That, across? that yeah. shit no, pissed bro. me the fuck off. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. Yo, I woke up. I was confused. So many of those messages, just like, yo, what the what fuck? I mean, not oh, yeah. me, but like, just people were posting on the. I, I was yeah. the first one on the in the group message, just like, yeah. bro, what the fuck is Instagram <laughs> on? People were a hype to do because I thought it was permanent. I like wanted to like go back to bed and like wake up from. Wait, the yours? Yours changed. Yeah. yeah, for a second. Like, a couple for, and then I like people. refreshed, went back, and it was normal. <laughs> so isn't it crazy that a company as big as Facebook and Instagram underneath it, which has some of the best software engineers in the world, they make fuck-ups like that? But is it a fuck-up? Kind of, bro. Because no. sometimes I'll, I'll think of it as a fuck-up, and I'll be like, I kind of fuck with it. Like, as, like, I get in. Like, remember, mm-hmm. remember when stories came out on Snapchat? People were not happy. You should. I remember when Instagram. It's every came update. Out. No one. There's likes like certain it. updates. I'm trying to think. It's all back, a distraction. But like certain, when I'm like people are like, yeah. "What the Ultimately, fuck yeah, are they?" But like that's something else is going behind. Stop, nigga. Yeah. No, I don't no, want to no, go no, there. No, no. <laughs> no. no I mean, that'll be no. a cool cutaway. No. I mean, you're gonna have to watch the YouTube. Now I'm fucking the YouTube. You're welcome. This is how you market. You. I want viewers, so I'm probably gonna be like mental health problem. Remember how we were talking about? Yeah, that's cool. Oh, talking, yeah, wait, no, no, no. I don't. Also, I don't remember what we were talking about using people and like the press. Yeah, go ahead. That's no, literally like, what I was abuse talking my announcement. I've never actually talked about this on the internet before. before. You know yeah. that? That's good. This yeah. is a good. This is a good time. You're you're amongst Same. your peers. I mean, I was saving. I was gonna save it for like, like a vlog or something, but not. No, nah, it's cool. No, fuck that. No, I'll fuck get you. We'll get you like an extra ten viewers. That yeah. I got like ten hardcore fans. They will watch it. I love it. One of them's my I mom. Appreciate the every, I appreciate every viewer. Every Chaz listener. has stands. No, Chaz fans. Bro. Oh, Stan, like uh, Eminem. I have such yes. low, I have no, such low bro. self-esteem. Cool. I appreciate I like every well, single, anyone the one that took their time to watch this or listen to it, any single person, whether it's one or two or three or 400, I appreciate it because you took your time to listen to it. That's I, I appreciate that. Does that mean I have low self esteem or I'm humble? I've been wrestling think, with that a while. I don't for a think long time. it says either. I think it says you have low standards. Yeah, but like you can appreciate little things. Oh yeah, I mean no, yeah, that's for sure. But yeah, I mean, so like, what's the fine line? Having low standards or appreciating about, small. We're talking things. about apples. That's like, a very what do you think? small line. It doesn't reflect who you are, though. I mean, that's, yeah. you can't let it. But it's like def- how how. You it appreciate your brand. It doesn't. It doesn't reflect my ambition. Like, if <laughs> I'm <ambition. laughs> oh getting too sure about a minute, bro. Yeah. I've been in LA too long. There you go. Shut up. It doesn't mean like if I appreciate the small numbers I have now, that doesn't imply. Oh. Yeah, we're in an apartment complex. That I mean, doesn't is imply. That like it's not to tell are they telling quiet? us to shut the fuck yeah, up? They better. No. They can come down. If I mean, it's, all, it's a Friday night. Yeah, we're not yelling. Are I we? Mean, I clapped a few times. We're they literally good. talk all night, so they're the last people to do anything. I don't think they're knocking. They're just literally living their life. There's an apartment. You just have an elephant living upstairs. No, I have a human that stomps around above me because I don't live in my heels? mansion yet. It could be like a cat. I think they're doing like a drag show up there. <laughs> Maybe. Just Why does it have to be <laughs> drags? Well, just because, Why like, is that funny? Well, because you Dra- go, do actually, drags not exist? Have you been to a drag oh, show? Oh. No, nigga. No, that's cool, bro. I have. I watched. Have you really? Yeah. The Illuminati made you? No, nah, I've been to the Abbey. It's actually fun. I've been, bro, I've been to the Abbey all the time. Yeah, you've you. seen it, though. Yeah. yeah. Is, is that a drag show? No, 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 no. But the drag shows where they specifically dress up in drag. and then Oh, like, like you've been there that day, like this designated yeah, drag. Yeah, day. I went with me and Jordan one time. Interesting. I won't I I had say some, I do it often, it but like. so good. It's. Well, I mean, <laughs> so fun. Well, <laughs> <laughs> pause. Uh, what the fuck you talking about? I'm just kidding. No, it's cool. I mean, everyone's got their taste. Just drag is just like the most extra stuff ever. I would try. All right, now they're just. I don't. Oh, we can't talk. What time like, is it? They're like tap dancing. 
We can talk. We can go up there and talk to them. You good? It's only it's ten forty three. They fine. literally always talk and make noise at night. We can do whatever the fuck we want. Okay, is that picking up on here? What? That. I don't know. Who could, I don't think so. Okay. Who gives a but fuck? yeah, people dress up and drag, and like you'll never that? find someone with more attitude or more makeup. I believe it. That's the thing with drag, and like that's what I'm saying with the stomping. What? Oh, like just attitude. Yeah, yeah. that's it. Yeah, I mean, if it's a song that like, I feel like the song is like the key. For what? How for much attitude you have when you dress up and drag? I'm like no, so just like lost. The enjoyment factor, like I just a drag I want to see a drag queen like dance really hard to like a song that I really like. Is it is it a drag like show like where a, they? What's a drag uh, show? I don't think I'm familiar. It's literally it's like. Um, I thought it was like a literally like the Victoria's Secret show. Yeah, it's like walk. that, but they dress up in drag. Okay. Which is just like hell of makeup, like the most extra outfits, and a lot of times. Traditionally, it's men dress up as women, but you can have women dress up as women, like just in, <laughs> no, no, but like they do a drag style. Yeah, not, yeah, yeah, yeah. Regular. yeah. Oh. Women dressing up, just. but they just dress up like for that would give me nuts. anxiety. Dressing up as a woman, I don't know. Just looking at that, it just oh, be it's, overwhelming. It's, it's fun. The best part is just like no, it's, it's kind it's of an cool. artistic expression, I ultimately. Uh, yeah. I don't, it's not my taste. I mean, so everyone has their taste. Drag show. That's what's up. Have you been? Did you guys think about it? Oh, yeah, that's thirty. I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna do it. Yeah, go for Is it. Is that cool? Want. All right, I'm gonna cut. Okay, this and... this motherfucker wants to um, restart the camera. Yeah, because well, what time He's really is trying it? to get paid. This nigga no, thinks, no, no, no. Why it's, are these uh, motherfuckers stomping? Put this on his resume. I'm telling you, bro. They, what they time is it right now? Like, uh, it's 10:45. Bruh, yeah, they should not be stomping. They can eat eat a dick. They can come down oh. here and see me. I'm never. Okay, alive. I already got split into two files, anyways. <laughs> What are they doing? You. Who I'm cares? Cutting, like, food. I, 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 I just want to figure out what that <laughs> is. Like, who moves that fast? I'm going to go up there. Can we stomp back? We can go over there and talk to them. Like, is it actually like that? They were late on their rent. Like, she came up to me. She accidentally I'm put... I'm she acci- she, So she put a note on our door. I, I pay my rent every fucking month. <laughs> and I'm like, wait, she said we, were, we didn't pay our rent, uh, Miguel. And uh, and I saw the I saw the oh the unit number the unit number and I was like oh wait this might be the wrong one or maybe they messed up so I talked to the lady she's like oh no it wasn't you it was them I was like oh shit mm. I know who's fucking up in the neighborhood pay your rent nigga <laughs> <God> damn <laughs> but can you actually hear the words obviously we're literally talking regular and they're stomping but do you think that's but too I hear that I hear them every night like I, was, I feel I like I also heard them over there too yeah they're just like stomping yeah I. Uh, they're Irish. <laughs> what you try- I'm Irish. What you trying to say? Yo, I mean, say what you're gonna yo, say. But y'all, Folk we dancing? need to be. We need to be quiet though, because y'all don't live here, so y'all gonna be out of here. I mean, so let's not, not like start shit. We're not being that absurd. No, I'm just saying. Don't yell. Pay your rent. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. You just picking fights with everybody today. Um, oh, true. You gonna mm, tell that story? Which, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yo, it's been a week for you. You wanna tell that story? I. Okay, yeah, because this is all I'm good for. This is all I have to offer. So. <laughs> stop, stop. Um, I got in a, my first bar fight Ooh. yesterday. Um, protecting two of my lady friends oh, that were getting mm. cussed out. See, I but, can't even handle one lady friend. I don't know how you did two. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll show you some time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Guidebook coming out next week. Um, It's more of a video, I'm assuming. Okay, link in description. Mm. <laughs> Bet. I want to see it. Oh, I already saw it. Um, but yeah, sorry. Oh, the fight video? No, no, no I was talking about like I'm my three video. Yeah, yeah, yeah sum up go. the fight because it's pretty funny. Can. Girls. Hey. hey. <laughs> yeah. Um, their honor was questioned. And you pulled and up. I, I threw my gauntlet down. Hey. And through my beard. Yo, this sounds like a King Arthur tale. Yeah. <laughs> That's what good. Like, yeah. Um, what do I say? What's like what? Like, I mean, just tell, first tell of all, the inv- the, the investigation is ongoing. This is all alleged information. Damn. <laughs> Wait, are there actually I guess cops I can. Involved? Okay, I can tell it. I mean, there was. I can oh. tell. Oh, oh, okay. Cops came, but yeah. So pretty Wait, much. Yo, this is not your story. <laughs> I, know I know it's know. your show, but it's not. It's I not. I just want to bust it out. Let's keep it going. Let's go. All right. Tell the story. Oh, okay. Um, you get like get thirty seconds on you all. Jesus, time. Jesus. Um, <laughs> it's a rush. <laughs> Cause it's not that yeah. long. This yeah. okay. It was the Blazers game. Blazers was Warriors versus Warriors. We're in Beaverton, which is like 
if y'all don't know where Beaverton the is. The ugly stepson Google of it. Portland. The what? Ugly, I, ugly stepson? Yes. Oh, Beaverton's nice. Fuck Beaverton. Oh, yeah, Beaverton. I like it. It's, it's like nice. the suburbs. No, this is ex- this is exactly why you don't go to Beaverton. Why. I've been I've been purged of Beaverton. I used to go to high school mm. in Beaverton, mm. and ha- like judge, try judge, my judge, best judge, not judge, to judge. ever go back. Okay. Um, I went back. This is like mm-hmm. the first. Time. I haven't been there in, in so long. Just to bowl. Literally, we went bowling. Um, we were in the sports bar, connect like connected to the bowling place, watching the Blazers versus Warriors game. I was coincidentally in a in a beanie that had LA on it, and my friend um, Wait, LA Olivia just it said LA just said LA. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, my friend Olivia lives in Sacramento now, and we were just talking about, I guess, like how much we were just like talking shit about Oregon. She she verbatim said, "I love watching the Blazers lose." Oh, that's not, that's not nice. That's not even that's probably Oregon, a bad, that's probably that's a bad look. <laughs> You can't do that in Portland, dude. Blazers no, it's, fans it's, are crazy. No, it's sadistic. It's sick. Yeah. I don't know why she would ever say that. <laughs> what did you say? Yeah. Uh, did you like? No, I, said, I, I, I said no. Th- I said that's sick. Why would you say that? Come on. Like, like sick, like sick, or like that's fucked no, up. Like, like that's psychotic. fucked up. Oh, oh okay. interesting. So, like like watch it. Sorry. No, me. Oh. You're good. It's hard to be a Blazer fan because we mm. suck. It is. I mean, no, I'm, I'm used to watching them lose. Three so seed in the West last year. I, I don't think why I could ever say enjoy we it. Because we're three seed in the West and we are celebrating it. That's why. <laughs> okay. I'll take that. <laughs> I think we're out the first round. Yeah. yeah. We beat the Warriors this year to school. Yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah. Um, And so this it was overtime. The whole, the whole bar was super high energy. We're like barely paying attention because this is the first time we've seen each other in a while. We're just catching up. Um, but I guess this dude at the bar is like eavesdropping on our conversation the whole time and isn't liking like what we're saying. And so, um, it's over time and he, he, he's just like calling them like bitches. He's not addressing me first of all at all. It's because you have dreads. Was he white? He was white. He probably oh, he he's the whitest in Oregon. I've ever seen yeah. I'm going to insert. Had, yeah, you had a gun picture. and it wasn't like, you know, like a, a hunting rifle. Oh my what? god. It's, it's like a bunch of hicks. Is that mm. racist? <laughs> no. It's funny. Yo, Did he wear camo? Was he wearing camo? Skit? No, but oh, he was right. he had like a very duck dynasty type beard. <laughs> he did, he did. And had like I a, a hoodie. But it was it was, Wait, it was very like, old was this hipster. Man? Is this like, a grown man? Late twenties or maybe oh, thirty. 20s. He could be like thirty. Okay. He looked yeah. He looked very like working class country, like kind of could be hipster, but he vote for Trump. Okay, he he was at a bowling alley (laughs) bar watching the game with his girlfriend. Like it was just ah yeah, it's just not a good. I was there because we were. That's probably the first night out they've had in like three months, dude. Come on, cut him some slack. He had nothing to lose, Mm -hmm. (laughs) (laughs) Scully. At all. Where was I? Um, Oh yeah, my bad. We We sound bad. (laughs) 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 Fucking fuck. I think it was yeah no Damien hit the buzzer beater against um against yeah it was sick shot yeah it was clutch. no it was cool like right in Katie's face can we play a clip can we do that um yeah so it'll be right here psych I'm not gonna oh, fucking that do that shit that's stupid no you just play it over the top no I don't want to and you get a little audio clip and they'll, they'll love it this nigga wants to turn this into like have you guys seen um Peppa Pig on the ki- have you guys seen those like um. In a car with blah blah blah. So Canadian. you what you was trying to say is I'm trying to up the production quality, and you're welcome, folks. When yeah. this is the best podcast he's done, that's he's why I'm trying to, back. He's trying to chop it up to where he wants it to be like a show, but reality, but kind of not, but kind of like scripted. To where I'm just trying to run it Whoa. through. Those are bullet points to talk about, and we haven't even gotten to them. Like we've gone to like two, and that's fine. We're working at a good medium. Oh, just like we're snap. compromising. Yeah, we, we have kind of gotten through two. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So it, we that's didn't not even the point. we skipped the first point. He, he wants it to be. So he wants us all to be fucking robots. Yeah, just yo, have have no up, fun. Bro. Get okay. there. Get there. Um, buzzer beater hit. Shit goes down. He turns around, he's calling them all kinds of bitches, all kinds of sluts, oh, and like God, we. So <laughs> I'm high. Number one. So it's like it's not I'm low key entertained, but. <laughs> but it's, but it's something totally switches. Yeah, it was yeah. like fight or flight, and the temperatures. I chose fight, and you didn't fly. I you didn't. Th- you threw the beard. I threw my hear. beard. Couple in his face, just a quick splash. Felt what did I just? I'm literally. I'm trying to in my mind picture this happening. You threw the beard. You threw the beard, and there wasn't an instant fight. That's where my brain gets. <laughs> That's. I got no reaction. I threw the beard. Got no reaction. Like you, like you did one of like those. Like yeah, just, it was. Oh, it was beautiful. 
You were hyped. Beautiful. You did it, and you were it's happy. It's so weird. Yeah. I can't imagine. Well, my whole goal was just to get his like his attention off of them and onto me because he shouldn't be picking on them anyways. I yeah. just, so yeah, I just, clearly, throwing your beer in his face <laughs> was the easiest way, the the most peaceful way to do that. Yes. It was, that what doesn't is, require what me what standing up. Just and he was, I'm going to be honest. Like, I think you're the one who escalated the situation for sure. He's he being calling, an asshole. He called them Bro, how many, t- how many nasty, raunchy things have people said to you? Oh, it's different. If they can say whatever they want to me, but I to mean, girls, that's just disrespectful. I mean, how many, yeah, has no. anyone, has any, have be. you ever been in the situation? Where someone's been calling one of my good friends a slut or a whore? Yeah. No. Me neither. I don't know what I would do. I've seen people in those situations, Actually, and I hate the way once, people react every but time he was when like they don't do huge shit. And it was just me, and it, he was amongst his friends, and he was clearly like blacked out. Yeah. So I grabbed my friend and like took her away. I would person. I think that would be my natural reaction, but I also wasn't fucked up. I'm not judging mm. you. I'm not judging you. I want you to keep telling the story though. It's just context. No context details matter. True. 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 Keep going. Yeah. And he was just a lame ass nigga. I was not gonna let him. Just talk anyway, like yeah. no. And so yeah, I splashed the beer. I got no reaction, so I picked up the pitcher and splashed the beer in the pitcher in his face. Still no reaction. It's a whole like how was it a full? How much? What percent on the pitcher? Like twenty five. I can't even remember. We um, had like a solid seventy five. That's a lot of beer. No, 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 because no, it was like three glasses, so the the pitcher was already like less than half full. Okay, we're talking like solid thirty six percent. Yeah. Cool. Well, are you at peace now? No, no I'm just, I'm just I'm painting the picture for the audience. Well, okay, fair enough. Good forty yeah. percent. I need to see. Yeah, I don't think they care as much as you. But um, and then he started throwing like glass, like the glass cups. So you're out there playing dodgeball. With Dodging that shit. Yeah, <laughs> I'm weak. That's just mad, unbothered. But um, there was no punches thrown. Can we played dodgeball clip. There were later on. Um, <laughs> I was expecting him to swing. Like obviously, I'm not gonna hit him first because I already. You're black. I'm, I'm it's already. You're yeah, not, that's not gonna hold. Well. You, got, you got like four strikes against you already. Yeah, and I already. That's not gonna look good in court. Brought a lot of attention to myself, so you're guilty till proven innocent in those parts. This is all alleged. It's this not is... that bad. I know. <laughs> like, all right, just all right, people. Don't be afraid. You can if you're if you're black, in Beaverton. All right, white. You should probably white still. Privilege. You should probably white privilege. Okay. okay, but it's not as bad as it said. It's not. It's not. It's like, pretty bad. advice that you bro? It's take not. Right come on. It's not like the South. Wow. It's not a perfect. as far as less diversity, it's worse than the South. There's no <laughs> yeah. black people here. Yeah. There's actually a in lot of black In terms of South. police activity, yeah, is it really that bad? There's so many police in Beaverton. It's the number one most ticketed but, they have nothing to do city in the world. I've gotten a ticket in, in the America. world. I've gotten America. one ticket in the last ten years and it was in Beaverton. Police system. Really? Is it wait, do you really feel unsafe in Beaverton? Um like, See I the thing is I don't I don't go to Beaverton a lot. I don't feel Oh yeah, no, I definitely. I have a lot of cops really? in terms like, of driving. Come no, the Dutch Bros. Yeah, I'm like I like. I you. avoid you're Beaverton. Cool. But there's I mean, a black like, one that comes you, through. You know them personally, but like yeah. as a black man, do you feel unsafe in Beaverton or slash Portland area in general? I don't really know. Yo, really. I love my white I'm friends, but like, don't invite me to y'all houses. I'm not meeting your parents. Is why not? Like, why? Because I don't CJ trust. Are great folk. I don't trust white. Your parents. friends are white, and your parent, your friends' parents are white, and you know them, and you like them. How did you have any other friends? There's like only white people here, and then you guys. You have no, white friends. All your friends. No, I do have white friends, oh. and I do meet their parents and the, go to the, the show. Why are you I'm really to not. Flex? <laughs> He's to flex. Oh, okay, fuck. Yeah, that made no <laughs> sense. I'm sorry, Wendy, and I'm sorry, Karen. Um, oh. I'm so sorry. Um, you know their you're names. You're talking out your ass. No, I, I, I love my white moms. Drink. Honestly, I do. No, I love my you white moms. Enjoy casserole. I bet you do. Oh, no, I don't eat there. I don't <laughs> eat. Why not? Why? Is it not as good as Mutton Jara? What? Just because, okay. like... No. Don't, be, don't get nasty with I your don't like white eat- parents. Do you have white parents you like? Stop. Don't be racist. Yeah, it's okay. But Brush like, them with one stroke. Say, I'm not hey, gonna. I'm not parents. exposing my my is white friends. Is this parents. Parents. I love how you put the arm on <laughs> this it. Is, <laughs> this is to like remedy the the statement. No, but like some of my my <laughs> white friends' parents are problematic. I'll as say as that. Like they're, they're ex- ignorant. Like they don't know what the fuck they're saying. Oh no, they they they're educated as fuck, but, no, but they know exactly like, what they're saying. You think? So? Me, no, I need I need, a, I need a specific. I think I kind of okay. because like sometimes I even catch like I obviously I say some ignorant shit sometimes, but I catch I like, especially my parents and my grandparents. Sometimes they just say like some off color like just on like they don't think about it as racist or whatever. They're like, oh yeah, Latinos do this, and it's like, oh wow. But when it inf- when it informs <laughs> you know, your political decisions, I'm talking about like. 
political stances, like who people are voting for, who, like, oh, I mean, like policies that people are trying to enact or like make Facebook posts about. Oh, yo, <laughs> like you know right whoever there. like if you're watching this you know what i'm talking about but <laughs> I, feel that. I, I feel it i feel it um, okay i see that but wait yeah so no i don't i don't feel what really no, it's, it's pretty much over i think right? okay caught yeah. like you guys get chest to chest the girl um yeah like it gets just broken up pretty fast but they're holding me back when um they should have been holding him back. So he actually tried to go out my friend Olivia and she decked him in his face because she's a real one. Um, oh, wow. Y'all took a fucking, uh, what's that, tag, tag team? Like oh, that? yeah. It's like one swing, we all swing. Like, oh, yeah. We ride in. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but um, no, she got a hit in. And then he tried, to, he tried to steal my phone. I got it back. Um, just a lot of broken glass, a lot of beer on the ground. Are you allowed back? Oh yeah, no, they loved us. They were gonna like move us up the queue. What's to, like, queue? To line. bowl. It's just it's British for line. To bowl? No queue. Like <laughs> to bowl in this context, I don't give a fuck about the fucking phoneme of this. Yeah, to bowl. It's, it's like we were in line to bowl. Like that's why we were at the bar. We were waiting for our turn to like bowl. Oh. And after that happens, like do you guys like want to move up? So it makes a lot of sense now. Yeah. It's okay. At least you're pretty. You well. I know. I am pretty. <laughs> you're gonna punch it. That's I'm gonna be out of the use. state of Oregon no. by the time. I already time made this the noise. Up. I don't need a fucking. Y'all, <laughs> y'all won't find me. I don't think. I don't think he subscribes. If he does, who? Thanks for watching, the guy, the bar fight guy. I don't care. What is he gonna do? We're oh, living in a surveillance watching, state. You're grateful for everyone, even bar yeah. fight dude. Yeah, I don't care. Thank you. Can we call him Greg? I wish I was there so bad though, because we were like last night. Would have laughed. I would have laughed because he would he would it wouldn't have even gotten to that point. No, yeah, it li- he just felt hella fucking confident. I just out logic when people get angry. I just out logic them. I just laugh because they're not gonna do anything. It's fucking Portland. Yeah, it's but just not gonna go anywhere. If I was if shit. I was actually drunk, it might have got bloody because I feel like I get very like violent when i'm drunk hey do you want to get drunk yeah, you get reckless you just get reckless yeah, i mean i, I just don't i get do remember reckless. uh when he was in 21 he tried to sneak into the bar <laughs> bro that shit had me dying oh. <laughs> when you got close like, like, bro that was like that was like, that's like my favorite that story was, of that was like before fake bro, ID we need to go upstairs even. and like talk to them like, I mean, hey. come on. After the podcast, I guess they're what already like it? they're already. Fucking We're getting up. this content off. Period. It's eleven. Like, are they, ch- bro? They be up all night on. We're the laying phone. these eggs. It's not that late. I know. That's what I'm saying. We're shitting. At this point, eggs. I honestly believe they're they're building some piece of IKEA furniture. <laughs> they're doing something. That's the only <laughs> option. That's a hammer. Yeah, it's just like and they probably got an IKEA hammer, so it's like real light. Something. So it don't sound like like you know like a real hammer. I feel it. Uh, um, what's the next thing on the bullet? Thing? But you know, we're protecting our women all 2019. That's the moral of the story. We're not letting misogynists yeah. get off easy. I like women. Hell no. Or racist. Hell no. That's disrespectful. Yeah. Um, do you guys think so? Travis Scott is performing at the Super Bowl. Okay. And there's been a lot of controversy as far as, you know, the NFL's support of the African-American community, considering they make up a large majority of the athletes and, you know, obviously Kaepernick's Mm -hmm. um, stance on the flag and how that is taken by the owners and how, um, you know, the owners are, you know, responding to that, whether you think. Um, Kaepernick got blackballed or not, and I'm assuming he would have a place in the NFL if this if he didn't take the stand that he did. I think we can agree on that. If you disagree, that's fine. It's beside the point. The point is, Travis Scott agreed to play at the Super Bowl halftime show. Most people declined for pol- political reasons because of that stance. Um, what do you guys think? Should he have declined mm-hmm. because of the NFL's lack of support, or should he have secured the bag and played? Um, I'm going to be honest. I don't know a ton about the situation. There's not a ton to know. I mean, I understand. Like, I know Cardi B and other people turned it down. Yeah, Rihanna. Um, Rihanna turned it down too. Yeah. So the main issue is because Travis is, it's because he's black. That's why it's an issue, right? Wow. Yeah. Because if he's black. (laughs) Like, wow. And the black community expects them to all be behind Kaepernick. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. 
I have no idea. Say it. I know what you're thinking. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just I, fucking I, um, I think he should secure the bag. Like, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah. This is, the thing is, he's like he's like the third, fourth person asked to perform. So, he's getting, like, sloppy, sloppy, sloppy seconds. <laughs> Damn. And most, <laughs> you, you, you think? And you, you know, I'm the, I, I was like the... I'm, Biggest I'm the Travis biggest Travis yeah, for a minute now. I honestly think that it, it's a big... I wouldn't expect him to have been performing, to be honest. Like, they're, like the Red Hot Chili Peppers had to do it way after they were super popular. Who? Mm-hmm. Red I'm Hot Chili Peppers. Oh, come on, man. No, I know. You see what I'm saying? I don't think Travis Scott was quite at that level. Like, Rihanna, yeah. Yeah. Cardi B, she's even pretty she's new. Hot right now. Like, that's pretty... Like, to get to the Super Bowl as new as she is... Yeah, that's a big deal. That would have been a big deal, but she's also set, like, all kinds of crazy records. Yeah. yeah. Like for Travis, I think like he's definitely kind of batting out of his league. But the thing is, which is cool, he's he's not even yeah. the headliner too. Is the thing like oh, Mar- is? Maroon Five? Is, oh, is see what I'm saying? But they've been around so that's like or... don't even step on that stage, Travis. Is oh, what is like on, on an artistic like level would be like <laughs> my like <laughs> my suggestion. But also, bro, bro. I think. I mean, but, but it's like oh, they're traveling around. I don't get it. I don't either. I want to go I, up there so bad. Be like, is there a problem? <laughs> like, <laughs> can we record it? No. Who was yeah. last year's halftime show? Ah, uh, I don't know. Who even played this? New England did, right? In the Super Bowl? Yeah. New England won it, right? No, yeah. Eagles. Eagles won it. Right? Yeah, Eagles won it. I don't remember. Carson Wentz. No. No, Tom Brady got his like like ninth ring or something. Nah, like bro. I'm pretty sure the Eagles won this. Alexa, who won Jeez. the Super Bowl? Last year. Last year. Oh. In Super Bowl 52, the Eagles defeated the Patriots. Oh, yeah, I was right, bro. I told you. So Brady was there. He probably got, like, fucking his 12th Super Bowl appearance. <laughs> like, crazy, dude. You know the Patriots like, have won 10 straight seed, Um, They've won their divisions 10 straight time, 10 years in a row. That's crazy. Yeah. I only know because I'm a Dolphins fan. <laughs> and we're in the I was same going division. into freshman year of high school. Fan. Last time they did not win. That's crazy. It's incredible to think about. Mm-hmm. Shit. But, anyways, I think yeah. the most desirable outcome would have been since it is in Atlanta. If they got like a very like historically Atlanta um, Super Bowl with like Outkast or like Usher, Ludacris, anyone that's like from there. It's, so it's in Atlanta. Atlanta. Not a flatter with her. Is it always in Atlanta? No. Oh, okay. It's no, no, no just this just this year. Yeah. And I think the black community in general would have supported that move, but then they got Maroon Five, and then yeah, Travis. It's just. I mean, I don't. I'm not super People mad are gonna at him. Hate I don't know. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't understand. It's gonna be whack. How they quantify? Do like, we? Here's the thing. Do we? Do we not want any black representation in the Super Bowl halftime show? Is that like? Is that the better alternative? What's this we shit? Well, the whole. I think it's America. America. <laughs> I know. Fucking with you. Can I, oh, can we I play just a don't. Clip I, of I don't. Really, Charles Gambino. This is America. I look. You didn't watch the last Super Bowl. Concept. I don't think I'm gonna watch this one. I, watch I don't understand the concept of catering to this like hypothetical or like fictional collective of black people that yeah what is black decisions yeah because i'm black i don't care he's black he might feel a different way this person is black they might feel a different way i mean is it like do we say it like 51 percent is the black opinion you gotta assess the situation and make the best moral judgment point blank but it's like is there an obvious moral you know right decision in this no, but when so. but when we see oh, it's like the lowest viewed opinion. Super Bowl ever or like the lowest viewed halftime show. Do you think it ever. will be? Um, I don't think. I it feel will like be. that could, that should be the goal at this point. If we're just trying up. to make oh, a statement. Super Bowl is one of the most watched events in the world. It's very American annually. Not even America in the oh, world. Oh yeah, it's so kind. I know people in like Europe watch that shit in Australia. No, they don't they, watch a single. They, they do don't not. know the fucking. I swear to God, yeah, they do. No, they don't. Yeah, they do, bro. I got hella international friends. And they love that. The watch Super the Bowl. football game or the halftime show. The, not the, well, the whole Super Bowl. The whole thing. The so, the whole Super Bowl, bro. Nah. One of the most televised events. They don't give a fuck, bro. Bro, now you just ignorant. <laughs> they don't I give swear. a fuck. I swear. <laughs> okay, hold it's on. Like, they do. How many? It's how many thing. people? How many internationals have you heard ask the question like, "Oh, is football football soccer or football American football?" Like, wait, they know it's a sport, bro. Like, but nah, America just on, bro, America is just a big hub for broadcasting entertainment entertainment in yeah. general america's like a cultural exporter yeah. and this is like one of the quintessential american things this is like I how many americans watch the i'm Royal just wedding, i'm you know? the super bowl is not a global event yes it is it's, a, it's, it's a, a it's an american Absolutely. event no, it's, a, it's it an is american. american but even then bro a lot of what's american 
is global culture. Like, they watch all our movies. They watch all, like, and when I say they, I mean internationally. Like, our movies are number one a lot of times. Our music, go to a bar in Mexico. Go to a bar in France. Go to a bar in Hong Kong. I've been to all these places. American music will be in 50% of the rotation. Yeah, I believe Even it. if they don't speak the language. Yeah, yeah that's just like different. Art, art. How's different it different? different? I mean, football is entertainment. It's the same thing. It's just the one time they watch it. And they also watch the NBA finals. In China, it's really big. Oh, yeah, it's huge. Bro, I'm, I'm, I'm on it. Alexa. Like, I got facts on this, bro. You can ask Alexa. How many, Alexa, how many people watched the Super Bowl last year? I love how we're yeah, the relevance. Alexa. Last time around, the underdog Eagles beat the Patriots. She's not. To she's three she's three lacking some. Around. Alexa's an idiot. She lacks some depth. But the point is, like, a lot of people Last watch it. Around, Alexa, turn off, the bitch. <laughs> I love disrespecting Alexa because she can't talk back to me. She listens to me. She takes. Well, I think the question girl. still stands. Like, should he have? Uh, yeah, I mean, there's no like cl- cut and clear answer. Would you do it? That's what we talked. About. Yeah, I just said I, I did it. Would I you said do it a while it? ago? The Super Bowl. Yeah. No, because I feel like it's bad press. But also, Travis Scott is morally... He's done other things that are probably, like, not... Are we looking for rappers rappers for moral, like, guidance? No. Should we? I don't, no, I did, I don't think so. Though. Yeah. I don't know. You just got to feel it out. I don't think it's that cut and clear that he shouldn't or should. He, it's his own personal decision. It's his life. You know, it's a big honor. I think we shouldn't look past that to play in the Super Bowl. And it is should, a it's a hard decision to look back at your life and say, I could have played at the Super Bowl paid? and I chose not to. A lot, not as much as he could have <laughs> if he waited. But I mean, do you think he's gonna get another chance? Tomorrow's not promised. That's the question. He could die tomorrow. Like Rihanna, Rihanna will get ass back. Cardi B, Cardi B will get ass back. Travis Scott probably would. Maybe he puts out consistent good work. He does. He's put growing out the popularity. Good work, if like, he stays yeah. with Kylie, he ain't going nowhere, not motherfucker. Not but also, yeah. Travis doesn't really deserve it yet. I don't think. Is he still? He's super fresh. I don't really think. I like a couple of his That's songs off of the album. Show. I liked his old See stuff. See what I'm better. saying? Like, he's not... I, like, no, I like no the disrespect Astro to Travis. World a little bit. I like Travis a lot. And I know yeah. I know Travis puts on Portland. Like, he loves Portland. Okay. I don't know why. That, I don't know why, but that makes me happy. I like Portland. <laughs> like, I like Travis because he likes Portland. Yeah, I got, like, skin in the game a little yeah, bit. Yeah, because he tweeted, like, he loves Portland. And ever since then, I've been a big Travis fan. Like, come but to the they say that then, every like, time they're at a new city? I love Baltimore. I love... Kansas it doesn't City. matter. It worked <laughs> no, for he me. got a Portland like me, tattoo. Bro. Oh really? Or, like it's like the. Um, I love how he said it's not a big deal, and now he's telling us like more facts about Portland. These are just <laughs> facts. Bro. He got the coordinates. <laughs> I'm just saying. But that doesn't affect. I, I didn't like him more because you just sweat him just because you sweat him because I like his music. Okay. Fine. I only like I'm with you. I okay. like a couple of his songs. Can someone ask me what my favorite album of the year was? <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of like I was gonna avoid it. I knew no one asked me. It's because the audience doesn't care. It's true. I'm be disappointed for no, I, you I, guys. Yeah, do care. I, Tory Lanez. Uh, oh, he does. Uh, <laughs> I actually. <laughs> you're gonna be. What are you asking? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You want to guess? Asked. We haven't asked yet. What? You well. Could guess. What is your favorite album of 2018? Well. Since you asked, um, I'm probably going to go with uh, Post Malone's album. Oh, yeah. wow. Beer Bongs and Bentleys, right? Yeah, yeah. Beer Bongs and Bentleys. Yeah, that one, I really like it. And I've liked it for a long time. Yeah. It hasn't gone away in quality as I've listened to it more, yeah. which is very rare. Like, usually I like Tory Lanez, and like when the album comes out, I'll listen to it. And it'll kind of dry up a little bit. I have the same effect with Chance the Rapper. I know it'll kill me, but his some of his songs I'll play once, a couple times, and I'll be like, okay, this got really old. But Post Malone, you know, just layers on layers. I really like like this album this year. Um, he had a lot of singing in it. Yeah, he just switched it up, songs. so yeah. it's just hard to get tired of it. And uh, yeah. I like I kind of a kind of underground, not really as much. Uh, no, he's pretty underground still. Um, Eli Sostre. Mm, uh, I don't P- know that. Peter you know Peter put yeah, me on him. Yeah. Um, shout out Peter. He's been on the podcast before. I'm probably oh yeah. I've already put one out. He's he's a mm-hmm. recurring guest, but he only has one out. He told me not to put the other one out because it's Why? so old. <laughs> but he like he we were just like it was. I'm gonna put that out. He said it's cool now, but he did not want me to put it out. It's like a oh, long time ago. It's like and it's like it's, it's, it's it's it was like, a like it's a really entertaining one. I really like that one, but um, it like actually went in depth of how he started music and stuff. Like Just it was like checking, don't get mad. 
No, we're going to wrap it up soon. Yeah, um, it's about, before it's my about fucking neighbors time. murder me. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just, you know. Do you have any favorite songs from the album uh, specifically? Um, Sugar Wraith. Um, I think it's called Sugar Wraith. Yeah, it's my favorite song on um, the Post Malone album. Really? Yeah. Wow. It's not. It's not like Psycho or no Dynast. Psycho. No. You don't like Psycho? I not? like Psycho, but I, it's not my top five. Was Rockstar on there too? I don't like Rockstar. Oh, no. You know, like I don't. Rockstar? I don't like uh, no. Twenty One Savage at all. I don't. He Twenty One Savage looks weird. He just. I don't just like his weird. voice at all. Oh, I don't like his rap. Savage. Really? Is that why you got his hair? That's wow. That's not his haircut. Google Twenty One Savage right now and look, <laughs> yeah, look how, how dumb no, okay, Chaz is. Okay, right. It's more like. Do you know who does? Kind of Amina. Amina kind of has that. He's just Loki. Ethiopian. That's no, look at Amina. has got like the same thing going on. Mm-hmm. Does he have no idea? Yeah. No, he has some. Gro- it's like an afro with like random dreads coming out, but it's all similar. Shout out Amina. I went to Glitter Pop. I took my cousins to his Portland show. Oh, Sir Dion. Yeah. Yo, actually, last time I saw you, you had the fucking you had the uh, Killamonger Killamonger cut. Yeah, bro, yeah, yeah, that was fresh. Yeah, it just grew. It just got now you're just long. Long. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. fucking long, dude. We'll see what happens next. How long are you going? Um, next. Oh no, I feel like it. I, I don't. I don't want it longer than now. I probably probably trim it. Trim it. Looks good. Or you're like, like the weekend. Like I'm trying to see what you're gonna do with your hair. Like next. I'm the like, next trying to figure phase. It out, yeah. <laughs> Yo, your hair is pretty long too. I know. I need to. It's get been a while since I've seen your hair this long. I know. I buzzed it for a while, but now I'm just got lazy. Haven't had time for a trip. Oh, you didn't. You didn't clean up before we got on camera. No, I did not. Okay. I don't really care. It's fine. I'll still take your bitch. <laughs> um, okay, <laughs> so we're gonna wrap it up. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for watching. Um, thank you guys for coming on. Oh, well, I, I appreciate it. Mm-hmm. The season premiere. Season two. Because, of Yoel's Hangouts podcast. Stay tuned. Appreciate it, guys. You're welcome.